fun times guide. We are real people with real experiences and real helpful ideas. I just recently decided to get into cycling with my two-year-old as a way to get out of the house and enjoy the greenways in our area. In our little cities of Maryville and Alcoa, our greenway has over 15 miles of paved trails just waiting for us to cycle them. But there are many other outlying communities and cities as well. I thought I'd just share our current setup and how simple it is to get out on the greenways. I purchased this used bike off of Facebook Marketplace. It's a simple 2012 Scott Metrics. It has an aluminum alloy frame with easy pedal and eight-speed 24 gear Shimano drivetrain, 700C wheels to help me conquer the inclines without actually having to jump off and push. I really like the color and the second-hand price of $100 was just right. I added the Thule Yep Maxi rear child seat for my son. It's a first choice for a rear mount seat among families who cycle a lot. Plus it made the top 10 list for rear mounted kid seats. I like that it offers a comfortable and safe ride for my son. The Yep Maxi is a molded, rigid, yet flexible rubber that absorbs some of the road vibration. It also has a secure five-point harness to keep my son safe and secure in his seat. There are protective edges in the footrest in the event of a crash, plus adjustable footrests to provide confidence in both myself and my son, knowing that my most precious cargo is secure. The seat mounts quite easily and securely to my bike seat post. And that, not that I'll be doing much night riding, but it does have um, reflectors on the back. The seat is over just eight pounds and it's relatively lightweight and built to hold my son until he reaches 49 pounds. And I'm gonna show you how easy it is to mount. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hold on, honey. Hi. How easy it is to mount a two year old. My son is two and a half. Okay, first things first is we make sure that we are ready to go with our helmet. Honey. All right, and I'm always gonna make sure that I have a hand on the bike. Oh, you okay? I make sure my straps are ready. All right, come on. All right, so I make sure that the bike is always like leaning award towards me and on the kickstand, but I'm never gonna let go of the bike. And I make sure that the straps are already in adjustment so that it's an easy clip get them in there and I just make sure you get strapped in and it's a child proof um, clip system as well which is really nice so I don't have to worry about him playing with it just make sure that these are snug snug them down and it does have um, foot straps which I think is a great just in case we do crash I don't have to worry about his limbs flying out the area and like I said I always keep a hand on the bike to make sure that there's no tip over the other thing I want to do is make sure that the pedal is up and out of the way of the kickstand so when I'm ready to get on it it's pretty easy and then I get my pedal ready to launch and I basically throw a leg over and get my pedal ready to launch and get some momentum and then we basically just take off from there. If you found this video helpful, please remember to click the like button and even better yet, if you click subscribe, you'll be notified when we post our next video. Please be sure to click on the article link below this video to read about some other helpful tips and info to help you better prepare. I love to share my East Tennessee backyard with you and I'll see you on my next adventure.